and a top story emerging from Srinagar. China has strongly opposed holding G20 meeting in Kashmir and Turkey and Saudi Arabia have not registered for the meeting to be held in Srinagar so far. On Friday, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wetton said that China firmly opposes holding G20 meetings in any form in disputed areas and will not attend such meetings. This is the first such strongly worded statement by China on G20 event in Srinagar. Third G20 Tourism Working Group meeting will be held on May 20 to 24th in Srinagar amid extremely tightened security in the region. China has not only decided to stay away from the event, but also has raked up quote-unquote disputed status of Kashmir ahead of the first important international event in Jammu and Kashmir after it was stripped of its special status and statehood in 2019. Sources have said Turkey has decided to stay away from Srinagar meeting and Saudi Arabia has also not registered for events so far. Meanwhile, Srinagar is under a blanket of heavy security. I'm being joined by my colleague Nazir Masoodi right now. So Nazir, what is the update from Srinagar? Srinagar is gearing up for the big important G20 meet. India is holding a lot of importance for this, for, for, for hosting it in Srinagar. Massive security cover there. And you have statements from China and some countries that are yet to register. Yeah, exactly. There are two parts of it. One is how, how the member countries of this important global, you know, platform G20 are reacting to it. At least they are, you know, China has strongly opposed it and they have said they will not attend it and they have raked up the disputed quote-unquote character of Kashmir and saying any place which is disputed, such meetings should not be held. This is the first strongly worded statement by the Chinese foreign spokesperson who he made it yesterday. And Pakistan has already opposed it, though Pakistan is not the member of the G20 country. And so far, uh, Turkey, it looks like they may skip the event and uh, Saudi Arabia has also not, you know, registered for the event so far. Uh, there were 100, uh, you know, delegates from the G20 countries were expected to attend this event. But uh, till yesterday, uh, 60 delegates had registered from the G20 countries. Having said that, you know, this is an event which India has always said that it is our... Uh, you know, own territory and we can hold any event here. And recently, you know, Foreign Affairs Minister, as Jay Shankar, uh, reacting to Pakistani Foreign Minister's statement, say, said 370 is a history, wake up and smell the coffee. So India has made its position very, very clear that it's own territory and they can hold any event here. And with the, you know, revocation of 370, the disputed character of the Kashmir is gone. And in fact, this is an event to showcase that Kashmir is a peaceful place and it, we can hold an event here. And the participation of the G20 countries in this event in Kashmir is seen as an endorsement of uh, uh, India's position on Kashmir. Having said that, on the ground, there is massive security cover on the ground. It is from ground air security, uh, service, you know, cyber surveillance as well, uh, marine commandos to uh, national security guards and uh, paramilitary forces, army, police, DSS, SSB, all are on the ground to provide a security. But it's not only about security. There's some all good development, all some beautification, you know, process in the Srinagar city to make the city look even more, you know, beautiful uh, for this event. And in, in the last few days, we heard, saw left and Govern inaugurating some of the beautification projects in the Srinagar event. Today, one is today, slated today, which is the Jahlim Bank beautification drive, you know, process here in Srinagar, which has been completed. So lots of things happening here. The security remains the concern, and it's now clear China will not be attending uh, the G20 event in Srinagar and Saudi Arabia, and these, Turkey has not registered so far.